Hello everybody and welcome to another countdown of the top 10 best-selling light novels in Japan. This one being for the week of January the 1st to the 7th of 2018. Uh, I don't think there were a lot of brand new releases uh, out this week. Uh, this week with the top 10 we only have three spots belonging to books that weren't on the la list last week. And those three spots of the three, only one of them is a new release. The other two are actually books that have been on the top 10 before, one of which is actually kind of old, but there is a reason for it. So it's kind of an interesting week, but uh, like I said, not a lot of new stuff to look forward to. So let's just get into it. At number 10, with 4,158 copies sold, it is the Kadokawa Bunko version of Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name. Now, this one, of course, is based on the movie that premiered back in 2016. It is the highest grossing animated film in Japanese history at this point. An excellent movie. I do recommend you check it out. Uh, you can actually buy it on DVD in North America, or, well, I guess Blu-ray now. It's probably passe as a DVD, but, um, but it is available in English. Uh, also, this novel itself is also available in English. It was released by Yen On uh, back May 23rd, 2017. And it is the story of a boy and a girl who one day wake up and they have switched bodies with one another. And it sort of follows them and eventually they lose contact and it sort of follows to the boy's journey to try and figure out why this happened, what's going on, why did it stop, all that kind of stuff. An excellent movie. I do highly recommend you check it out. I have not read the novel at this point, but you might be wondering, you're like, why is this book back on the list? And I kind of wondered that too. Uh, thankfully, I noticed a news article that apparently the movie Your Name just premiered on Japanese television uh, this past week. So it was... Um, it aired January 3rd, and apparently sort of helping the hype, the, the director, the creator of the movie, Makoto Shinkai, he promised that there were going to be exclusive Easter eggs in the TV uh, sort of premiere. So it grabbed, what was it, something like 17.3% of the viewing audience at that time slot or something like, I mean, huge, 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 huge. And I think that's why we're seeing this back in the top 10. I think a bunch of people either in anticipation of the movie being shown on TV or having now been exposed to the movie, they ran out and bought the book. So that explains why this one is back in the top 10. It's just another sort of example of how media can have a huge influence on the sales of these books and sort of helps to explain why it is that a number of these companies, particularly the, the book publishers, are going to certain lengths to adapt a number of these properties into anime because even if the anime doesn't make a lot of money on DVD and stuff, the publisher still makes a bunch of money on the book sales. At number nine, with 4,499 copies sold, volume number three of the ReZero short story volumes. Now this, of course, been on the list for a couple of weeks now. Uh, just basically a bunch of side character stories that have been collected. This is the third volume and still no release for English, although we do have the ReZero series proper as well as the spin-off series ReZero EX. And number eight, with 4,675 copies sold, volume number seven of Ari Ferretta. Now, again, this is another one that has lasted a couple weeks on the list. Another isekai. Uh, this one, we do have in English from J Novel Club. Uh, they are have just released, uh, I guess, volume four. It came out in mid-December. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Uh, it's part of my massive pile of to be reds. Um, there also is the, uh, it's going to be coming out in print format by from seven C's. They're printing the J novel club, uh, translation that's going to be released February 6th of 2018. So that's coming pretty soon. And we get the first volume of the manga. That's also from seven C's. They're releasing that March 6th of 2018. And finally, there is an anime adaptation premiering in April 
of 2018. So huge next like couple months for Ari Ferretta, both in the English market and in the Japanese market. Uh, I do expect to see this one getting a bump with that anime. It'll be really interesting to see if, uh, like Classroom of the Elite, we start to see some of the older, like volumes one, two, three, start hitting the top tens uh, once that anime premieres. It'll be, it'll be cool to see whether that happens for this particular property. At number seven, with 5,338 copies sold, volume number seven of Isekai Cheat Majutsushi, aka Isekai Cheat Magician. Uh, again, this was one that was on the list last week. Uh, we have no English license. Uh, from what I can tell, there is really nothing available in English officially for this series. And it really doesn't seem to be, we don't have a lot of information. A couple of you gave me information on some of the other uh, series that were on the list last week that I wasn't familiar with, but this one, not so much. It's a very generic description, basically, of a boy swept away to another world and that he's kind of an irregular there and he tries to find his way back to Earth. So I'm not too sure. At number six, with 5,616 copies sold, volume number 13 of Konosuba. Now this one dropped out of the top 10, and now has surged back onto it. And I'm really not too sure why. I'm not too sure if anything new Konosuba-wise happened in Japan this past week, or maybe it's just because it's a bit of a slower release week, and so Konosuba just is, keeps doing those steady sales, so it allowed it to creep up. But I mean, I think it's kind of funny that it's in at number six. It's not like it just like touched in at the number 10 spot like your name did, but... Uh, yeah, Konosuba, that series, that series just keeps on going. At number five, with 5,814 copies sold, volume number one of Ari Ferretta Zero. Again, another one that was on the list last week, this being the prequel series to Ari Ferretta, uh, sort of looks at, at how the labyrinths were constructed and the, those characters that built them and sort of challenged the gods the first time. Uh, it has already been licensed by J Novel Club. They are releasing it in installments on their website right now. I don't have a release date for the collected ebook volume yet, but uh, again, it's one of those series that J Novel Club just jumped right on, and we're going to be running basically neck and neck with the Japanese releases as they come out. At number four, with 6,216 copies sold, volume one of Owari no Seraf, Ichi no Se Gurin, 19 Sai no Resurrection, or Seraph of the End, Gurin Ichi no Se, World Resurrection at 19. And so we were talking about this, how this is the sequel series to uh, Gurin Ichi no Se, Catastrophe at 16. Uh, that book obviously looking at the lead up to the end of the world. This one basically looking, I guess, at humanity starting to build its resistance uh, to the vampire outbreak. Uh, these, of course, are both prequel series to the Seraph of the End manga and also the Seraph of the End anime, which was based on the manga. Uh, we do not have an English license for uh, Gurren Ichinose 19. We did get the first six volumes of Catastrophe, but for whatever reason, the seventh volume has never come out. Now, I don't know if that's just because everybody was surprised and didn't think we were going to get the seventh volume or whether they're going to bundle seventh volume in this one because for Catastrophe, they bundled them. They did two volumes at a time. Uh, so I don't really know what the plans are. I haven't heard anything. Uh, I should maybe reach out to Vertical and see if anybody there has any idea, but it wouldn't be typical for them to release anything about licensing or anything like that ahead of time. So I think all we can do is sit around and wait and see. And number three with 10,463 copies sold. It's the only brand new release that's on the list this week. And that is Idolish 7 Ainana Gakuen. So Idolish 7 apparently is a game for mobile platform. It's sort of a combination visual novel and rhythm type game. You take on the role of main character Tsumugi Takanashi. Uh, she's been made the manager of this brand new idol group, which is made up of seven males. The story, the game kind of follow the 
the boys and her on their journey to try and become full-fledged idols. Uh, now, I believe what this is, is so they're doing novelizations, I guess, of each of the main storylines. Like, that's my guess. I don't know if it means that they have, like, updates that bring out new stories, and that's what each of these books are based on. Kind of was a little hard to find information on that, but I do know that this is a storyline from the game, and that this is based on it, and that's really all I know about this one. Uh, if you know a little bit more, let me know. Um, I do know that uh, they are just starting a anime, uh, began this month actually, based on the games. Uh, my guess is they're based on the games, not on the novelization of the games. That's my guess. Uh, I have no idea what it's like. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't really watch any of these sort of idol type uh, series. So, but anyway. That is what is at number three. At number two, with 10,864 copies sold, volume number 15 of ReZero. So ReZero continuing on strong. Uh, of course, we do have this series licensed in English by Yen On. Uh, they're just releasing volume number six in February. Uh, we've also had the anime, which covered up to volume number nine, uh, that available on Crunchyroll. Yen Press is releasing the manga version of this series. So one of those series that thankfully we pretty much have everything in English that we could want from it, uh, except of course the short story volumes. But we do have the spin-off EX, which is kind of cool, which yes, I know I need to read and I need to review. I've heard from many of you ReZero fans that I need to move on it. Uh, but please understand that I have a pile of 13 books that I have to try and review. So uh, I do really want to read it though. Uh, ReZero, fantastic series, one that I enjoy a great deal. And volume number five was just like, wow, what a great book that was. Um, so I'm very anxious to get going with that one. Finally, at number one, with almost three times the sales of number two, 29,532 copies sold, volume eight of Kagero Days. Now, this, of course, was on the list last week. I'm, I, I would have to look at the release dates, but I bet you anything this came out like the last day of that week. And that was why its sales are huge. This week, this of course, uh, by Jin. It's based on his vo Vocaloid uh, music series. Uh, there's also a manga. There's also been an anime based on this property. This is the last light novel. It is the end of the series, which probably explains why it has such a huge sales. And it's been over a year since volume number seven. So uh, a lot of people very sort of anxious to read this. Not only have they been waiting a long time, but it's also the end of the series. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out because as I understand it, there's kind of like a different ending depending on whether you're reading the manga, whether you're reading the, uh, whether you're reading, watching the anime, whether you're reading the light novels, uh, even I guess the music hints at different things, the songs. Uh, a lot of people have sort of said, you know, you kind of need to consume all of it to get the full idea of what's going on. It'll be very interesting to see in the afterwards of volume number eight if Jin sort of approaches that and talks about it and whether he indicates which he thinks is the official end to the story. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, I expect that we will see this in English because we do have the light novels in English from Yen on. They had caught up to volume number seven. Uh, I imagine it's going to be at least six months or more for us to get volume eight translated. Uh, so we're probably looking so late summer, if not towards the end of the year before we get this one on our shores. But I can pretty much guarantee that it's definitely coming. And uh, it's been a really cool series that uh, very, very different, a little bit of a loopy kind of series, but still one that I've enjoyed, uh, one that uh, I have reviewed all seven volumes so far. And definitely I'll be picking up number eight when it comes out. So those are your top 10 best-selling light novels in Japan for the first week of 2018, January 1st to the 7th. Uh, like I said, not a lot new, and even of the three titles that were new, only one of them was actually new. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. I was just looking at some of the Japanese sites. It looks like a lot of the bigger releases are going to be more towards the end of the month. So it'll be interesting to sort of see what the list is like, at least for the next two weeks, until we start getting into like the later end of the month where a bunch of other new releases come out. 
So if you love light novels and you're brand new to the channel, you should subscribe. I do two to three reviews every week, as well as doing this countdown every single week as well. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye for now.